Hey, what's going on guys? Rudlinel here, coming back at you with another Python tutorial. Let's fire up idle and get to programming. I'm going to create a new window here, save this as uh, file.python. We can get our shebang line started. USR bin environment python class base. Holy goodness, so much code, it's almost uncomprehensible. Is that even a word? I don't know. Uncomprehend? Yeah, I think it's incomprehensible. That's right. Yeah, whatever. I don't know, I only speak Python. That's all that's the only language I know. I feel like Python is like parcel tongue. Haha, <laughs> you get that joke? That's a good joke, isn't it? Alright, anyway, let's let's create ourselves a string variable here. Uh self dot string can be uh this is a joke. Jome. <laughs> let's call it a joke. Alright. Now, the function we're going to be taking a look at today is similar to the left justify that we looked at a few videos back. Today we're going to be checking out right justify. So this is, if we do, uh, if we try it with the built-in function self.string, we can change it to rjust, and we can call it, uh, we're going to want to pass in uh, the width, or how much it is that we're justifying it by. So before we do this, we can print out self dot uh, string so we get the original and let's concatenate on here some new line characters and we can uh, print out the self string that's justified and we'll pass in like 30 as a width so let's run this and we have this is a joke right up top and then we have this is a joke with the uh, width of 30 and we have the spaces here and now we can change we can also pass in a fill character so we just don't have spaces here and uh, let's try those uh, those it's plus signs like we were doing in the last tutorial. Let's run this, and now we have all of these. So let's see how we can do this and try and recreate this in our own function. If we comment this out right up here, let's define a new function inside of our class. Let's call this one our right justify. We can just be self, and we need string to justify. Make sure you spell everything right. We're going to have width, and then we can set up the fill character. This is looking familiar, isn't it? Let's start up a code block, and now we can test if the length, the length of the fill character is greater than one, then we better change it to uh, a single character rather than being a string. So fill character can equal fill character at the beginning, and so the index, we can index that, uh, that first bit. And now we can test out a difference. A difference is going to be our integer variable, and it's going to be width minus, let's see, uh, the string to justify, or the length of the string that, that we're justifying. So width minus length of string to justify. That'll be our difference. And now what we'll do is we'll return the fill character. This is, we can have this inside parentheses, I suppose, so we have a little bit of an expression here. Fill character multiplied by difference, and then we can add on string to justify. Now, if you remember in the last tutorial, what we did is we returned string to justify, and we added on the fill times difference at the end. In our case, we wanted the front, though, because we're right justifying now. We aren't left justifying. So if we uncomment this and we, we call our function inside of our constructor, we can do print self.writeJustify. We can pass in self.string, and we'll give it a width of 30. So we can run this, and we have this is a joke. And it's justified in that 30 character long uh, string, just like we have right up here. And we can set this up with the plus sign if we wanted to, because we remember we can pass in a fill character. So let's pass in our 30, uh, I'm sorry, our plus sign, and we get the same thing. Now if we put this alongside the original function, the built-in one, we have the exact same output because we've done practically the same, the same thing here. And, you know, it, it, it gets the job done. It looks good. Uh, it's almost everything that we did in the last tutorial. We were left justifying. But at this time, we're putting the fill character right before the string that we're outputting. So uh, so there you go, guys. <laughs> it's pretty simple. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you, uh, this is understandable. You can comprehend this with, uh, without a problem. But uh, hey, <laughs> thank you for listening, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.